Hi guys, this is the Betamax man here, and we have a uh, we have a Magnavox uh, VHS machine today. We got it hooked up. We got a blue screen, so we have uh, video. I uh, I did take the screws off so we could pull the top off and I'll show you what this machine is doing so model number VRU 262AT22 it's probably um, a FUNAI mechanism so let's see if it works because it worked the last time um, this was given to me uh, back in the uh, late 90s. Uh, it was given to me by a family friend. And it's been in storage for the last six or seven years. And I pulled it out because this VCR is special to me. Just because it was a very good family friend. And... Uh, he was he was just a really good person he bought a new vhs machine he said this one didn't work and when i when i got it 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 did work so it worked until this was put into storage i used this machine shortly before putting it into storage but we have an issue so let's pop the tape in you got to play. This is what it does. We got the audio is severely distorted. We have no video, as you can see. We have uh, picture search. It goes. We don't have picture search. We'll pull it back out. Let's see if it ate the tape. Nope, didn't didn't eat the tape. I know what you're thinking. Mode switch. No. No, this is not a mode switch problem. <clears throat> this is probably head amplifier. Let's pull the, the top off. This is... Let's just see if the head drum is turning. Our head drum is turning. Our head drum is turning. So our head drum is turning. Hmm. It's got to be the head amp. In fact, I'm sure of it. Uh, let's pull this thing out. We, uh, our connector's not loose or anything. There's no, there's no loose connection. This is connected. This is for the erase head. Hmm. I wonder what it could be. So, let's take it apart and find out. So, I'm going to unplug this and we're going to pull this thing apart and uh, we'll see what, what's going on with it. We'll see see uh, what's going on with the head amplifier. I want to check the head amp. Um, could be a problem with the circuit board over here too because here's uh, got a bunch of uh, caps. 
on this board and there's the bottom board this is the power supply area over here sometimes you can have issues with the power supply because if the if there is like a bad capacitor or a bad component on the power supply that could cause issues too because if it's not sending proper voltage to the VCR uh, it can cause problems too so I'm just gonna check these caps I'm gonna check the power supply capacitors as well see if there's any screws are on this bottom some of them had screws on the bottom that you had to take off. So let's get it apart. Let's get it to uh, oops, figure out what's going on with this thing. Okay, so we have the, the chassis out. So basically there's a screw there, there. There's a screw on both sides. There's three in the back and then it basically just lifts up. So this thing just lifts up. So now we're going to take a look at the head amplifier here. We're going to see if maybe the... I just want to check the circuit board. Ooh, looks like a little bit of damage there on that circuit board there. Hmm. So this is the head amplifier right here. So it might, it's going to be, I think it's going to be, oh wow, look at that. That just broke off. Oops. So there's a, a broken mounting tab. And this is all pushed in, so there's nothing, I, mean, I don't see anything, the connector is all the way in. However, when I was messing with this connector, the picture seemed to come on and off, so it might be just a, a ribbon cable that's failed as well, but let's just check. I gotta get my iron hot so we can take the shielding off. Um, maybe it'd be a good idea for me to just unscrew the head amplifier from the machine so we can just simply disconnect the connectors because this is the, the head. And disconnect the head now I'm going to take these screws out and we'll be able to get to the head amplifier and let's get in there and let's see what we can do because I'm I'm pretty sure that the issue is going to be right here in the head amplifier so I got the head amplifier out I uh, took the shielding off so I can get to the capacitors. So these two capacitors, these electrolytics have failed. Um, I've tested them. They're testing bad. So we're going to go ahead and replace them because they are the culprit, I believe. Uh, it may be more than that, but uh, right now I'm going to uh, change those and we'll put in the new ones. It looks like somebody might have been in this one before. So these caps might have already been changed at one time don't really know so it just looks like the solder is not factory done it looks like somebody had replaced those caps in the past usually they don't go bad on these newer machines 
the machines from the 90s, usually the capacitors are still good in them, but uh, apparently we do have two that are bad. So we're going to change those. And when we change those out, we'll put the head amp back together. We'll put it all back on and see if we get a picture. Um, so we've got the new uh, capacitors. These are the old ones. Those tested bad. So we'll solder these new ones in. Put this thing back together and we'll see if we got a picture. Uh, I've got it plugged in. Got it all put back together. And let's go ahead and see if I fixed it or did we uh, not fix it. Let's tape in. So far, so good. And uh, I would say I fixed it. That is, uh, the shaking is actually the video. So, and we now have picture insert. We have a reverse surge. Fix. And our colors are nice and bright. Crisp and clear. So that's all we needed to do was just recap the head amplifier. And very happy with this machine. This machine is now um, good for uh, putting back in the service. We can now start using this machine again. All I'll do is do a cleaning of the head. So let's clean the heads. So you just take a piece of uh, writing paper and uh, we'll put it up against the head, spin the head counterclockwise, and then uh, clean the audio head control track, and we'll clean the cap spin as well, and uh, this thing will be ready to go. So let's do that. Piece of paper. Soaked it in uh, alcohol. Let's see if I can get it so you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna put it up against the head, turn it counterclockwise. As you can see, that this is a forehead machine. And, uh, wow, look at the dirt we got off that. Holy cow, guys. Well, let's do it until it gets, I'm going to do that until it's clean. And we'll use the Q-tip for the audio and control track head. When that one's clean, we'll clean the capstan. Clean the guides, clean all the tape guides here, okay, so I'm just going to clean the upper drum here, the heads are away from the q-tip, so don't worry about that, never use q-tips on heads. You can snap the uh, head right off. So don't ever use them on the actual head cleaning because you'll break the head. And what we will do is we'll find a machine that does work and then we'll clean the head with Q-tips in another video. 
and show you the kind of damage that happens when you use a Q-tip on the head because it'll snag the head and break right off. So, I'm going to clean the erase head. Okay, this thing should be ready. We'll let it dry for a second. Alright, let's push it back in. This thing will play automatically. Very good picture. Not, uh, not bad at all. This one also has HQ quality. We'll put the uh, cover back on and this machine will be fixed. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye bye.